Hello everyone, welcome to my ear training lesson. This is lessons 14.5 and 14.6, sight singing. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to sing a given short melody. In a sight singing problem, a short melody like one in a melodic dictation problem will be given, meaning the melody will be four measures long in 4-4 four, four, or 6-8 time. You will have to sing the melody at a steady tempo with the correct pitches and rhythms. You may transpose the melody to whatever key or range you are comfortable with. You will be given time to practice singing the melody and then time to record your final performance when you are ready. To prepare for sight singing, practice singing major and minor scales. Also practice singing broken triads. Practice singing the most common pitch patterns found in melodies. Sets of common pitch patterns for major and minor keys will be given on the next slides. Here is a list of the most common melodic patterns found in major keys. Here is a list of the most common melodic patterns found in minor keys. Most of these are the same as major except with raised scale degree 6 or 7. You should spend all of your practice time singing and not writing on the music. When you record your final performance, make sure to pick a comfortable tempo and look at the range of the melody to pick a comfortable starting note. You have to do this before you start singing, because once you start, you cannot change your tempo or key. You are allowed to sing solfege symbols, scale degrees, or neutral syllables. Use a neutral syllable because it will just give you one less thing to think about. Practice is the most important part of ear training. In order to be able to accurately sing a given melody, you need to practice a lot. Let's try it on the next slide. Sing the given melody. Pause the video to practice and then record your performance of the melody. Correct answer. <gasps> Sing the given melody. Pause the video to practice and then record your performance of the melody. Correct answer. Sing the given melody. Pause the video to practice and then record your performance of the melody. Correct answer. <laughs> Conclusion. In this lesson, we learned some tips for how to accurately sing a given melody. For more practice, please download my Music Theory app. This is the end of Chapter 14, and in Chapter 15, we will talk about structure and form.